that make a nice contrast for a nice dark tree. Just using the very corner, just very light touch, and just bring that right down. Always look to uh, what's the word? I'll think of it in a bit. It'll come to me. So another one up here. Exploit. That's the word I was looking for. Always exploit where you can areas. So if you can see a light area, put a dark next to it. If you see a dark area, put a light next to it. And all Sorry about that. The battery ran out on the on the video camera, but you haven't missed much. I've only put this this uh, tree there on the left hand side, exactly the same technique, just done on a slightly bigger scale, that's all. Um, what I might do, let's give this, if I switch to say, raw sienna, with a burnt umber, ultramarine, I'll make this a, a water area. I, th I thought I would do, but I'll just darken that up a bit. Burnt umber, ultramarine, just nice and. Just get it in nice and dark. Because then what I can do, in fact, I can just I'll switch to the uh, piece of plastic card and then just scrape in a few rocks. I should have put the water in first, never mind, it doesn't matter. I'll just get a few diggings down here, down the bottom. Yeah, always very easy to overdo it, it gets a bit so tempting. Just wait till the paint's half dry before you start scraping in because otherwise if it's still wet the paint will just go back into the light, the, these highlighted areas that you've created. Um, before I do anything else I'm just going to put this water in I think. So, clean brush, loads of water, I mean you can see how much water these aches are, it's just gallons of the stuff. I'm just going to take the excess off so it's not dripping anymore. I might just put a bit of blue on it as well. Just just a touch of crimson maybe. And then the side. And have the light. Something. Somewhere there. Something like that. Nice and wet. Clean the brush, dry it on the towel, and then get that tree colour in really quick before the water dries. And you can just see the tops of the, uh, you can just see the tops of those trees. And the reflections. And obviously you've got the big one, big one there. Maybe you see the uh, those ones going off up the hill. And you've got these ones just above them. Yeah, just keep it nice and subtle. And then clean brush again. Plenty of water. Just enough 
generally just to keep the hairs together. If you get if there's not enough water, the hairs on the brush tend to separate. Just dry air there. So often just if you just dip the very tip of the of the hairs in the water, it just brings the hairs together. Bring you back to a chisel edge like like so. And then I can just another stray air there. And then I can just define the far edge of our little lake. Continue that along. Just continue that along like that. Just dry that a bit. Again, dark colour on the brush, but this time there's a lot less water on it. A lot less water. It's the, the end the hairs tend to curl round like that. And just flick up where we can see. There's some reeds and stuff along the along the shoreline. Obviously they get smaller and smaller the further they go away from us. We'll just carry on with those along there. And there's some big ones over there on this side. I think I'm gonna call that one finished. So I'm just going to switch to the, uh, the number 3 rigger, get a dark colour on it, burnt umber, ultramarine, and just pop. Pop the signature down on the, right in the corner. Don't sign them right in the very corners because otherwise once there's a mount on them you'll never see it. That's just a nice little simple mountain scene you can practice. Thanks for watching and I'll see you hopefully again soon.